So hi guys, so welcome to another video of solving programming problems. Uh, we finally finished solving problems from Array and now we're moving into strings. Uh, I, I think there are like 10 problems in strings right now. So I'm just going to go through that in the next following 10 days. So we're starting out with a fairly pretty simple. I don't think anyone would even ask this question because it's super simple. Uh, so the pro problem is to reverse words in a given string, right? So it's it's fairly straightforward, guys. So uh, we have a string here, and each word is separated by a period. <coughs> so for example, <coughs> sorry about that. So for example, here we have I like this program very much, right? And we have periods between each word. Uh, so the problem is to uh, is that we have to reverse every every word. Like we have to we have to reverse the entire string, meaning that this the word that says the last should come front and very should come second and we should do the entire reverse right so uh, that's kind of the idea of solving this problem uh, so it's pretty easy to solve this in java uh, the, the basic idea is that we would use a regex to split out this array by the period uh, and we would get an array of strings right and then we iterate through the array of strings. We will have i at the first position, first index of the array, and we have like at the second index of the array. So we'll iterate from the last position of the array, and then we'll append it to a string, and we will return that string as an output. So that's the basic uh, algorithm to solve this problem. Uh, so let, let's go ahead and code this out in Java, right? So, um, so what should I do first? So I should declare the result that I'm gonna sending. I'm gonna be sending back. Uh, and that is defined. Uh, so now I am going to uh, declare an array which will, um, I, I think it's split. P L I T. Um, is it split? It's not showing me any suggestions. Um, so I'm hoping that it's split. Yeah. So anyway, so we do a split here. We try to, uh, we, we try to change this into an array, and then we loop through the entire array from the last position, right? So, um, yeah, so one thing that we need to do before we go any further is we need to find the length of this array. Thinking it should be this. But anyway, so it's the i index int i should start from length minus one, and then i should be greater than or equal to zero, and then i minus minus. So that we added from the back side, right? So, uh, so we need to do a check here to see if we are at the last position uh, of the array, uh, meaning that we need to check if we are um, if we are at the first position of the array, right? So length minus one. If we are at the first position of the array, we just need to do one thing that's different. So we just need to concat result, and then we need to add array to it. So this is done because we don't need to add, see, I'll, I'll, I'll go over, so else, right? So we have result is equal to result, plus we have a period that we need to add, and then uh, plus array of i, right? So, uh, so we're adding period right before every word, but for the first one, we don't need to add a period before it. So we don't. So if if we just executed this, we would end up adding a period right before much. So we don't need to do that. Uh, so that's why we're checking if it's the last, if it's the first one. If it is, we're just adding it without the period. That's, so that's kind of a, a logic behind that. And then at the end of all this, I'm just going to return the result. So let's compile and see if it runs. Okay. So. Cannot find symbol. Okay, I don't think it's a method. So okay, uh, the, I think that might be a typo. Yep, there. I didn't realize that there was a typo, but that's fine. Okay, int int cannot be converted. Oh, my bad. Um, this is what happens. Uh, All right, so we did get we did get the correct output. So I'm gonna submit this and see if it runs for all the different test cases. Um, yeah. 
So that is it, guys. Um, 